Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of how I prep my bike for ultras. And in this case, what I do after I've pretty much completed either an ultra season or maybe the bike is no longer going to be used for ultras. Um, I showed a little hack earlier in an earlier video on how I put reflective tape on a bike. And now I will show you why I do it the way that I do because it, uh, it makes removing it so much easier. So let me show you what I'm talking about. In a previous video, I mentioned that I put black electrical tape down as a base and then I put the reflective tape on top of that. So here's another example and here's another example. So what I do or how the reason I do that is because this particular tape is a DOT uh, spec and it's it's a very good tape. It's very reflective. You see it on the back of trucks, semi trucks, uh, semi truck trailers. And but eventually either the sun or something deteriorates it and it's very like a fish scale. It's very difficult to remove when it starts to break apart. So um, another little hack that I do is, for example, here, this, this particular seat stay on this Bianchi XR4, you know, is not round and its profile is quite thin. So when I put the reflective tape on here, on top of the black electrical tape, it wants to peel off. So I, I then just put a strip of packing tape over the top of it. So I have black electrical tape, reflective tape, and then a clear packing tape on top. And it also makes it super easy to clean. You just wipe it off and you're not, you're not damaging the reflective tape itself. So now I'm going to remove it. And this is obviously much easier with two hands. But the first strip is just the packing tape. Now, that'll come off. Um, it's five o'clock. And it's five o'clock. That'll come off fairly easily. And as I mentioned, it is just to protect the reflective tape. Okay. So once that's removed, now I can just peel off the black electrical tape, which doesn't harm the paint at all. And it comes off like that. Super simple. Now, one thing that I tend to do is if I know I'm going to, I mean, if they're in good condition or I, I'm going to reuse them, I just put them on something like this. This is just a packing envelope that I ship people product to or with. And, the, and it's not because I'm cheap and frugal. Um, it's really because of time. Because now I already have the strips cut out. And this will re-stick again, no problem, because it's black electrical tape. So, you know, after, let's just say, you know, I, I want to reuse this bike for ultras again. Then I just pull that out and I can put it back on. Now... The reason I'm peeling these off now is because I am uh, using my Ritchie for the Ultra, uh, for PBP, for that matter. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking and I can't really see because I'm using the, uh, the camera uh, to see what I'm doing. So it's not very, very good vision, but um, I'm using my Ritchie, so I don't really need the black electrical, I'm sorry, the reflective tape on this bike anymore. This is now um, going to just be a daytime riding bike. And so I wish to just remove these. And you can see just how simple it is to take these off. It just makes your job so much easier. This is all happening in real time. I'm talking to you and, you know, we're, we're under five minutes to include the introduction and boom. The tape just comes right off. And like as I mentioned, because it's black electrical tape, it doesn't leave a, res a residue that's difficult to clean off. So anyway, 
that's your cycling tip for today. That's how I prep a bike for ultras and how I then make it a daytime bike again. Super simple. If you like this kind of content, if you think, wow, that was really cool. I, I didn't realize uh, that could be so simple to do. Then please leave a comment down below. Say, hey, you know what? That was a really cool cycling hack. And I appreciate it. And uh, look forward to hearing more from you, George. And please like and subscribe. And we will see you up the road. Oh, one more here.